I've now got everything lined up and I've put an extra piece of bank paper in here because there was a bit of a curve on the board and it's best to sort that out beforehand. Um, so I'm just going to put the final touches to this and put the end papers down. That's a bit of waste paper. I'm taking out the waste sheet which has been protecting the end paper from damage and so I need to tear it out at the spine. You don't want to go right back into the spine because you've got the stitching of the end papers and you don't want to damage that. So I'm now going to paste the end paper and again it's paste not PVA. You want the end paper to stretch as much as possible uh, over the board. You'll find that in a book this size it's, it'll probably stretch about three or four millimetres. Um, it depends on the paper. But uh, this is where an ordinary bit of A4 copy of paper, if you've used that as an end paper um, and photocopied something, that's where it will really not work. It's got to be a much stronger paper to manage that amount of, of, um, of stretch because it will pull over. You'll see it's curving quite a bit and that's the moisture in the paper uh, going into the paper. No, sorry, the moisture in the paste going into the paper and I'm just going to make sure it doesn't dry out too much. It's quite warm today in here. And it makes a change. It's been freezing up to now. Um, so I'm just going to let that rest a little bit. I'm also going to put a line of PVA along the board edge because the difficulty with this um, is to get the paper to stick over the uh, edge of the board uh, and not wrinkle up when you close it. You'll notice that I'm doing this open um, with a leather binding you don't close the book onto the you don't close the cover onto the book as you do with the case binding um, because the joint is so big and it means that when you if you do that you'll find that as you open the book the whole of the first section will pull up and crack away from the rest of it. So that's why we do it open so that the cover will open easily and the end paper will shape itself over that uh, board edge there. The, the end paper is now stretching quite nicely and I think I can probably put it down. So I pull it over and ease it out and you'll see that it's going to end up with the squares around the edge pretty well the same all the way around which is fine. And just make sure it is well smoothed over and here is where you need to rub it down really well and in fact I'll take another piece of rough paper um, ideally it's a plain piece but I think this paper is fairly clean so just going to rub it down along that joint there and the PVA will help to hold it down as well so I'm just going to smooth it down a little bit more there's quite a lot of paste there uh, obviously you want to be careful about how you how you rub it because it's wet but this is pretty good paper it's a Pehembury one so it's very strong and I'm just making sure that's well and truly firm into the joint there. Now what you don't do is close the book because you just spend a lot of time getting it to stay open so I'm going to put a piece of relief paper over the over the whole thing and then you see it's supported by a board I'm going to turn the whole thing over like that so the whole thing is, it is um, still open and do exactly the same on the other side so uh, I'll now just change the protective waste sheet and put that in and do the same thing again so just tearing that out sheet under the marble paper and give it another pasting. It does mean when you do this that the uh, boards open very well. They open easily and that's uh, obviously what we want. If it looks as if the paper is going to curl up round itself then obviously you just got you can stop it but usually if you just give it a light press it'll it'll like push down it'll It'll, it'll be alright. 
um, but this is looking as if it wants to curl so I'm just going to hold it down carefully. Remove any lumps in the paste, they may show up. So I'm going to do the same thing again with the PVA along the inner edge of the board. And when I've done this, we'll leave it to stand up open for, I like to leave mine for about an hour and a half. Some people say it should be less, but I find that if it's not really dry, you will get it all lifting away from the board as you close it. You've got to compromise between not having it, um, not, you've got to compromise between not closing it uh, while it's still wet and lifting, but also not so dry that it's going to crack away and cause problems um, when it's dry. If it's, if it's dried too much, then you'll find that the paste cracks. So I think that's all right for the, that end. And I'm just going to ease it over. And make sure it's well firm down there as well. Again, I'll just do the same thing on here with the, with the waste paper. If you do want to bone it down at all, then you need to do it through some waste paper, not directly onto the onto the uh, end paper. But I find generally it's enough just to smooth it down because you're going to leave it to dry and it'll tighten as you do so. So there we have the book um, with its end papers pasted and you notice I'm not closing it still. In fact, I'm going to stand it up and I'm going to put underneath the text block a little bit of board there and I'm going to hold the boards open. They're actually staying open quite well themselves but I'm going to just leave them standing open with that bit of card. I'll just turn it round so you can see them perhaps more easily with a bit of card just holding the boards open so that they can just they will just stay like that. And turn it round again. Yeah, I think you can see that all right. I'll just move it a bit forward. Um, so I'm now just going to leave that for as I say probably an hour and a half. Uh, depends a bit on how dry it is and every so often I'll make sure that that joint is firmly drying onto the edge of the board not lifting at all. Right, so we've had a reasonable time now. I'm going to remove the board which is holding the, holding the book open and I'm going to close the book onto the board rather than the other way round as it's sometimes slightly easier to get it right then and the same the other way. And just looking at the junction. That's all right. That's holding on well. That's the difficulty. It's where there you don't want to have those sort of what Arthur Johnson calls flutings. But I think that one's all right. And that's lifted a little bit there but I can probably fold it down back in. I don't know why that should have done that but I think that'll be all right. So I now put the a bit of release paper in either side and then we'll leave the book under the press under a weight for um, it's a bit stiff obviously at the moment. we'll leave it under a weight for another oh um, well I like to leave it two or three days in fact probably more um, it's probably best to leave it for a week at least and then possibly another just depends how it goes but Generally speaking, you don't want to release it too too quickly. But that'll be quite safe now for the moment, and I'll just leave it till it's ready.